baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Dalton Varsho. Yeah, Boogie, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, just about set to go. And the starter for Toronto, Chris Bassett. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And he'll play it on a bounce. Here's Adley Rutschman. Run around the goal. Cut on and miss. And safe. It's a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Runner edges away at second. That's outside. Yeah, the count even one and one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have That's to execute on the mound. That one off the mark, two and one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. drive and a base hit right there and they get it in quickly first and third now with nobody out a perfect example right there that plate discipline it pays off the deeper he gets into a count the more comfortable he becomes and he usually wins the battle Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him he's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching the lefties however give him a little bit more trouble that's a bullet, but it goes foul. Henderson on third. Rutschman on at first with nobody out. This one smoked out to left. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Ball one, ball. one no, no strikes. strikes. And misses inside. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. That one in there across the letters. One run across in the frame so far. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Yeah, there's Thank ball you, four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So first and second with one man gone. Now Colton Kowser. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. 
One out. Runners at first and second. Outside low. Ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. The 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two on, one out. He goes down looking. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. That one the other way. And this one could be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Row cut off, now to the plate. There's the tag, they get him, and that's the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Orioles two, and the Blue Jays coming up. Back here at Rogers Center, and towing the slab in this one, Cole Irvin. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Pitch. Clips the outside corner. That's strike two. This to third. Henderson tosses across the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Danny Jansen. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs in at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on, but it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. One out, base is empty. Got him. Two down. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. And there's the strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Ripped on a line to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They trail it here 2-0. Back now in Toronto. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Stowers. Kyle Stowers. 
Bassett back to work. And that's in the dirt. One and oh. That clips the corner. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball two. There's a strike. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. So digging in, Cedric Mullins. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to know. One down, base is empty. Check swing, went around. One ball, and one, one and straight. one. No. And that one a little bit high. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the second. That one fouled off, two and two. Him looking that's a strikeout well definitely a borderline pitch right there and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout you know those are tough ones to let go as a hitter but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes Jorge Mateo now and a good eye there Two down, nobody on. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Ball to strike. And a curve misses outside. Two out, space is empty. And he chases a high fastball there. Hard hit left side. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Boog, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Gunnar Henderson now at the plate. He let off the game with a single and then came around to score. And that one is inside ball one. Bassett with a look to first. The 1 0. And a curve misses outside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. No, Just one. missed. Adley Rutschman in the on deck circle. Mateo leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And the Orioles lead one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Bob is shut up to the dish. The wind of the pitch. That one finds a corner. And it's 0 and 1. And he grounds one to the right side. Whips it to first. And a quick out, number one. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Here's Daniel Vogel back. That pitch clips the outside corner. Strike one. And ball one. The lefty fires. The other way. And foul ball. Kicks and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The Orioles trying to protect a two run lead. Bottom half of inning number two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. That is good. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And that one is in the dirt. One and oh. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Swinging. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They trail things here to nothing. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. As a batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Going one. And the right hander deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The pitch. Misses, it's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next is the designated hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. 0 for 1 so far. Base knock center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Next to hit, Ryan Mountcastle. And there's a foul ball. Man at first, one away. the zone for the two Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles, struck out looking his first time. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. And that one fouled off. O'Hearn, the runner at first with two gone. That one lifted to left. Makes the catch inning over. One left for the Orioles, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, George Springer. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And that one clips the corner. On the ground, right side. Whips it to Mountcastle. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting it. The third baseman. Isaiah. Kiner Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. First off, bring it just misses. And that's down and away. Two balls, no strike. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Stowers on his way over. They got it for out number two. Batting done. The second base. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Bounce to third. Henderson over to first in time. And they get Biggio for the out. And that is that. Blue Jays go down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Now in Toronto, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jordan Westberg. Bassett back to work. And there's a strike. You know, these Orioles showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. That one ops against the fence. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So, man aboard, Kyle Stowers, the next to hit for the Orioles. Went down on strikes his first time through. Fought off foul. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton.
The 0 2. And there's a ball. No outs. Runner on second. That misses the zone. Two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And the pitch. That misses. Three and two now. Hard ground ball, base now. Around third. Now a long throw home. Safe. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Foul ball. One on, nobody out, a run in, top half of inning number four. And that one fouled off. Next That's offering is down low. Now one and two. And they'll do it again. Go and the two. next pitch is way outside. Left-hand hitter waits. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Now here is Jorge Mateo. Reached on an infield single his first time. Just off the inside edge. One and oh. And the righty deals. Oh. The shortstop takes a ball. No, no. Stowers at first, one gone. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh. At the belt and fires. Back. And he pumps oh. it a strike. Ground ball could be two. One at second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on. So a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. So the batting order turns over. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. One strike. Two outs. Runner on the go in the dirt. Blocked by the catcher, and he steals second base without a throw. Here's a 1 1. That one fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. 
They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Back here at Rogers Center, ready to go, bottom four. Here's the center fielder, number 36. The wind of the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Well, these Blue Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 3-1. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Danny Jansen to hit here. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Yeah, a foul ball. A one down. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrender. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. On the ground to third. Whips it to Mountcastle. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. That's down and in. And there's the automatic. The 3 1. And that's too high, ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Little chopper rolls foul. Tying run at the plate. Fouled off, he was late. Only two now. Ball no. one there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Oh. Misses, and the count is even two and two. It's a good take. Here's a 2-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. And he takes a strike. 
Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up to this point. Pulls that one foul. Guerrero off of first with two away. And now one and two. One ball, two straight. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And here it comes. Foul ball still a one and two count. And he deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. And now the lefty that misses, and it's two and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And a curve is down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Dalton Varsho waiting to hit for Toronto. And a pitch. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Henderson makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's going to be Adley Rutschman. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In there at the knees, and it's 0-1. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slugs, some home runs can come into play. And takes low for ball one. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Now here's the Orioles Ryan. DH. Ryan O'Hearn. That's the ball. a little bit low. One and Gets under and pops it up. Biggio drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Man at first, first Ryan Mountcastle first digs in now. Ryan He's 0 for 1. Ball one low. One ball, no strike. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. So up next, Colton Kowser. That 
one finds the zone. Strike one. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. Gonna count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Westberg in the box again, takes the strike. If he can get through this one with a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Two on, two outs. And that one is inside. To third, Connor Falefa zips it across, and that is that. Orioles strand a couple, and the score stays three to one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. The pitch. That one missing inside. Well, these Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. That one misses, and now 3-0. and oh. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Ground ball to the right side. Oh, look at the stop. On the run, yeah. sends it over to first. Pretty nice play there. Here's George Springer. First offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Off the mark there. And a count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. That one ripped right center field. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's there with a double. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Man at second with one away. So up next for Toronto, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Flied to right his first time. Close, but called the ball. Ball one. And another ball. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Just missed. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. 
Kevin Biggio waits on deck with the tying run at the plate last half of inning number five that one's in there and it's three and one and the tying run is on base now it might be time to dig into that bullpen he's looking a little fatigued to me First and second, one out. And next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. He's over one. Well, you got the number nine hole hitter right here, looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Line drive, that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Play at the plate. Got him. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. One out left for the Blue Jays. And now the center fielder, number 36. And a big swing and a miss. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. The Blue Jays down to their final strike. And a ground ball to first. Steps on the bag himself, ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. And your final 3-1 as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB, the show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.